Welcome to the video series, The Slit Lamp Exam. This video explains the use of direct illumination with moderate slit width in the slit lamp exam. It covers the following topics. Illumination principle, usage, specific advantages, slit lamp setup, how to apply the technique, and common errors. Illumination principle. Direct illumination with a moderate slit width is a technique which provides a high contrast field of observation. Usage It is the most important technique for the examination of the tear film, the cornea, and the lens. The direct illumination with moderate slit width is also used for examining the anterior chamber and the retina using an ophthalmoscopy lens. However, these techniques will be explained in separate movies. Specific advantages. The moderate slit width provides an adequate field of view by maintaining the high contrast of the direct illumination. Thus, when comparing with the optical section, it shows a much larger portion of the corneal surface, which reduces the risk of missing subtle changes to the tissue. Beyond that, the areas just next to the directly illuminated field can be observed under indirect illumination. This secondary field of observation can provide a different view and level of illumination of the structure to aid in differentiation of lesions. Another unique advantage of the moderate slit width when examining the cornea is the parallel epipid. The moderate slit width provides a three-dimensional view of the clear corneal structure. This allows to examine the different layers of the cornea in a broader view. In contrast, the optical section, which shows the cornea only in two dimensions. Slit lamp setup. To set up the slit lamp, choose a medium to high light intensity and a slit width between 1.5 and 2 mm. Set the illumination angle between 30 and 50 degrees. For examining the cornea, Choose a magnification of 16 times for a first glance. Then re-examine the center of the cornea with a magnification of 25 times. For the evaluation of the lens, a magnification of 10 times is appropriate to get a better depth of focus. How to apply the technique. In the beginning, it can be challenging to obtain a focused image of the cornea. A simple way of getting the cornea into focus is as follows. Move the slit lamp towards the patient's eye until you see a light band on the cornea. Concentrate on the tear film. You will find small particles that move in the interblink interval. Once you see these particles, your focus is on the corneal surface. Note that the iris is out of focus because it is further beyond the plane of the cornea where the slit lamp beam is focused. When using this technique to examine the crystalline lens, Use the iris as a landmark. Once the iris is in focus, move sideways towards the lens and focus on the surface of the lens. You are now able to move the focus toward the patient to observe the depth of the lens. Common errors. When examining the cornea with a light intensity which is too high, the patient will not cooperate well. If the intensity is too low, you might miss subtle changes on the cornea due to reduced light scatter. Here the same image but with increased brightness, which makes this basement membrane dystrophy much more easily visible. Thank you for watching. The Hog Strike team wishes you a lot of success in using this illumination technique. This episode was made possible with the following contributions.